Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creative Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import Photoshop brushes. It's really easy, it's not that complicated. It does take a little bit of work to get the right brush settings to what you want, but that's with any brush. So, let's start. I'm going to be working with these Photoshop brushes I found on DeviantArt from the user Redhead Stock. And it, the website is obsidiandawn.com. These were free. Uh, they're made in 2004 and they work they will work just fine in Krita. I've already tested them. So if you want to check out those brushes, feel free to go here. I'll put a link in the description of the video. So when you download brushes from somebody um, and they're not the Krita ones, well, it doesn't really matter if they're Krita or not, usually it comes in a zip folder. So make sure to unzip it, either with um, either extract all or if you have something zip like me, just extract, extract it to another folder. So I'm going to go in here, I'm just going to copy it, and I am going to put this um, file in the program file of Krita. Now I don't know if this is different on a Mac. Um, if it is, I don't know exactly what folder, but wherever your program files are, that's where you're going to want to go. Uh, for me, it's program files, not the, and then uh, Krita, 64-bit, and then it should be oops, in the share folder under Krita, and then in a folder called brushes. And I'm going to paste it in here. Continue. There it goes. Um, it. it is it, this is more for organizational purposes for you. You don't have to put it in here. When I was doing some testing with it a while back, I just kept the file in my downloads folder because I wasn't going to use the brushes. Um, but it makes more sense to keep them all in the same folder for easy access and to make your life easier. And then to make our life easier going forward, we're gonna, I'm going to click on this box here. I'm going to copy this link. And then we're done with the folder. Now again, I don't know what it's like on a Mac or on a Linux even. I kind of forgot about Linux users, I'm so sorry. Um, just, but wherever the file path is for your program in Krita, it was Krita, share, Krita, brushes. That's pretty much what you gotta look for, and the rest is up to you. To how to find it. Alright, so back in Krita. Uh, we're gonna click on this little brush here. I'm going to open up our uh, brush customization window. And then I'm going to open up the type of brushes we have. And I'm going to go to um, this. I'm going to go to pixel art. Um, you can also just click on the pixel engine, which is what we're going to be using to make this brush. So right here, I'm going to click on uh, one, the pixel art brush. I'm going to save a new pre preset. I'm going to name this something new, OK? This is how you want to save the brush. Do that first. That way, anything you save, it'll be saved there. So I'm going to say custom fern brush, and I'll just call it 01, and I'll save it. Okay, so now that's saved. It should be in here somewhere. There it is. Alright, so now that I've saved it, I'm going to click on that, make sure I'm not editing the original because I did something dumb last night and I deleted <laughs> some of the um, default brushes, so that was fun. I got them back, obviously, but anyway, so now that we have the pixel brush and we've already got our custom fur and brush made, we got to add the actual um, Photoshop stuff in here. So we're going to go to the predefined tab. Now these are a ton of alphas. Um, here and you know if I want I can just use whatever's here but you gotta bring in the Photoshop stuff so we're gonna go to import and that um, file path that we copied we're gonna paste it here in the file name and hit open and we're just gonna click on the AVR file and hit open again so it looks like nothing happened so we're gonna go back to our brush uh, customization window and if you scroll all the way down whatever your Photoshop brush stuff was, it should be there in the very bottom. And I've got tons of options. And as you can see here, um, let me draw here in the box, 
Uh, it looks like nothing. And that's because we haven't set it up right. So we're going to increase the size. Uh, let's see. If you right click on this, you can change the size uh, manually. So we're going to go with 50. And we're going to make the spacing um, up to 10. And as you can see, it adds more space in between. I think it's like 10 pixels in between or something like that. So now when I go to use the brush, I'm getting individual leaves. Obviously, it's still a little small, so I'm just going to put 100. Oops. It's a little bigger. But it's still not quite there yet. It looks like it's still a little bit of a blob. So for that, we're going to have to go to see the sharpness there we go we're getting a little bit more of that in and then if we increase this we're kind of losing some detail which may not be the best for this type of brush but if you're doing like um rust or something and you want to kind of tweak that pattern a little bit more and that brush set you can play with the threshold I mean I think that's fine and then you can also change things like the rotation of it. Uh, we don't want to share the curve, so we can mess with this. It's not really rotating. Hmm. Let's see. Here we go. Tilt direction. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Oops. I want this rotation. There we go. So as I do stroke, it kind of changes just a little bit. So we can always. There we go. Ooh. All right. Well, that might be good enough for me. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. So as you can see, I now have a nice leaf or a fern. So now that I like this, I can overwrite brush and save it, and that's going to be saved forever. And that's pretty much it. And if you want to rename it, this is to rename it. And um, yeah, so I can go back and I can, let's see, I'll make another one. Uh, I'll make it the bunches. I'll save a new pre uh, preset, bleh, preset in that custom fern brush too. I'll save it. And I can go back and change the sharpness. Get it all the way down for this one. Sure. See what that looks like. Increase the size. It's a little big. I'm not getting too much detail. So I'm going to go back to sharpness, bring this up a little bit. Well, that's a little bit better. And then basically all, your, all that's left to do is just to mess with the settings and um, uh, tweak it. I mean, there's really no magic setting for anything. So, unfortunately, it, you know, it just takes a little bit of time to get the right look. So that, that's about it. Um, so if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. I will do my best to answer them, and yeah, I'm just going to keep playing with this. Let's mess with the color a little bit. Whoa! Yeah. Make some rainbow ferns. That sounds great. Cool. Alright, well I'm going to stop there because I'm going to get lost in playing with this. Uh, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on my social media. Uh, my Twitter is mainly where you can find me most active right now. Uh, you can donate to my coffee if you really like this video. Uh, the minimum right now is three dollars, and beginning sometime in February, um, probably mid February, when I have a reward for those who donate. Uh, if you donate before then, um, you still get that like little reward. Um, I'll just uh, email you whatever if I can, you know. And if not, I'll just let me know. Like, hey, I donated this much. This was my email, and I'll send you the the reward. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.